Burn it, police 911. This is a drill. This is a drill. This is a drill. On Thursday, August 15th, 2013, the Town of Vernon Fire Department, Police Department, Public Schools, and Department of Emergency Management hosted Impact 2013, a full-scale mass casualty training exercise. The following is a collection of photo and video clips taken from the drill and actual dispatch audio from that day. Preparing first responders for the worst, a drill at Rockville High School today centered on a car driving into a packed set of bleachers. Yeah, this drill allowed first responders and staff members to test their skills just ahead of the new school year. NBC Connecticut's... before 10 a.m. after a simulated car crash into the Rockville High School bleachers, actors are placed amongst the wreckage to simulate the emergency. Damn. The sound of a car crash echoes amongst the crowd, and a frantic 911 call kicks off the event. Burn it, police 911. An out-of-control car has slammed into the bleachers at the rear of Rockville High School. Uh, there's many, many injured kids here. Some have fallen as high as 20 feet or further. We need some help out here. What kind of vehicles do you see involved in this accident? It's a small vehicle. There's kids everywhere. There's a lot of injured people here. There's, they've fallen from height. Is there some kind of... Seriously. Yes, sir. Is there some kind of gathering there at the high school? Uh, I don't know. It's a regular school day here, and uh, there's a bunch of kids out on the bleachers, and a lot of them are injured. Their school is, is full of kids. Okay. We'll send someone up there right away, sir. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. 215 228 Small vehicle crashed into the back of the bleachers, Rockville High School. Getting reports of uh, many people injured there. Maybe some kind of function going on. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is Andy Rocket, principal of the high school. We have a car turnover with mass casualties at the football field at Rockville High School. So it appears the bleachers all over. Uh, multiple victims. Start me, uh, multiple units, please. All right, got six on the air, police units. One person trapped under a vehicle. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is Andy Rocket. I'm relieving, being relieved of my um, on-scene command authorities by Lieutenant Kelly of the Vernon PD. Once again, Andy Rocket, relieving, um, being relieved by Lieutenant. Okay, so you can see our are in the Yeah. 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 Parts of the bleachers, multiple patients are reported with fire and a traffic rail.
outside resources. Uh, fire Department EMS Morning, also... I have a quick update as well. Uh, just an amendment to the officer's statement that uh, at this time we are not planning on evacuating students from Rockville High School over the Skinner Road. Uh, if we can control the situation here, we are planning on keeping our students in the building in Rockville High School. And we are currently under a soft lockdown, which essentially means the students are not permitted outside of the building, uh, but they are able to uh, migrate throughout the building. 
Uh, in terms of the injured students... This could very easily happen. It's a real scenario, and we need to know how we are going to act in this scenario, how we're going to respond. After the Newtown shootings, tornadoes hitting schools in the Midwest, and weather events here, emergency officials say it's important to hold drills like this to be prepared for the worst. We have plans, and we want to make sure the plans are going to provide us the best outcomes during a real-world event. Testing the local emergency response system. If we do have an experience... Uh, with a real-world event, we will be better prepared to respond to it. Making sure they're ready to go in case tragedy hits close to home. Deborah Bogsty, NBC Connecticut News.